1930s, one of America's darkest times. A young African-American girl, Hazel Scott, a piano prodigy, was breaking all conventional rules. She was called the darling of the Cafe Society, New York's first fully integrated nightclub. Hazel was a trailblazer for civil rights and gender equality. She was one of the first black musicians who refused to perform before segregated audiences. The segregation and disenfranchisement laws known as Jim Crow represented a formal codified system of racial apartheid. My name is Hazel Scott and I'm going to try to tell you in so many words what America means to me. I think that Jim Crow doesn't belong anywhere in this country of ours. By the 1940s, Hazel was a rising star in Hollywood. Welcome to Paris, Mr. Gershwin. She was unafraid to speak up for the rights of black actors who had to sacrifice dignity and pride to conform to studio rules. Hazel eventually faced consequences and Hollywood producers pulled the plug on any new offers. Her marriage to Adam Clayton Powell Jr., one of the first African-American congressmen, made the Powells the most high-profile black couple in America. They fought alongside Martin Luther King and Malcolm X to bring forward the Civil Rights Movement. In 1950, she became the first black performer to host her own national TV show, which provided a glimmer of hope for African-American viewers. Her activism on behalf of black Americans, women, and artists made her a target of the anti-communist hysteria that swept the United States during the McCarthy era. Hazel got blacklisted, and her TV show was canceled. Escaping the oppressive and hostile environment, Hazel sought refuge in Paris, where she went on performing and continued being an advocate for racial equality. France was a place of personal struggles, as well as a place where she found faith. In her darkest moments, she visited Notre Dame, where she pleaded for strength the strength to break her addictions, and the power to start a new life. At the same time, she had deep conversations with her lifelong friend, Dizzy Gillespie, about spirituality, and they both joined the Baha'i faith in 1968. America is a great land for so many reasons, and the chief reason, I think, is freedom to worship God in any manner that you may choose. Hazel Scott was the catalyst in breaking down racial barriers. Her story serves as a reminder of the struggles and injustices faced by black Americans during the Jim Crow era and the resilience and strength of those who fought against it. Her legacy continues to inspire and influence future generations, not only in the music industry, but also in the ongoing fight for social justice and equality. I have a son. He's four years and a half old. Someday I hope that he will see, even if I don't live to see it, all racial prejudice eliminated as one removes a cancer from the body of a loved one in order to prolong its life.